Hi, today we will be talking about Tacit's Twitter crawler. Tacit comes pre-packaged with several crawlers. Crawlers allow you to automatically compile text from various sources. You can search for specific words, topics, or categories and apply various qualifications to the data you are downloading. Here is a list of the current crawlers we have on Tacit. And as I said before, today we're going to be focusing on the Twitter crawler. The Twitter crawler tool collects text from the Twitter website and writes that data into a corpus. This crawler collects tweets from the live stream, which may include tweets up to a couple days old. But Twitter does not allow crawlers to collect tweets any older than that. The crawler will provide various filter and limit settings, and it also will automatically save the data that's being crawled as a tacit corpus. The first thing you must do before using the Twitter crawler is set up an account authorization for Twitter. Twitter requires that before accessing their API, you must register your app on their website and receive account tied authorization information to grant the tool permission to crawl their data stream. In order to do this, you need to have a Twitter account. Once you have a Twitter account, you can proceed with the following instructions. Go to www.twitter.com slash apps. You will then need to sign in to your Twitter account. And then you will be brought to this application management page where you should click the button that says create new app. The first thing you do here is name your application. This should be a name that will help you keep track of your data. For example, computational social, social science lab. Then you should include a description that will also help you keep track of your data. For example, will perform analysis, analysis on natural language data. Then you must provide the website's address. And then you should leave the callback URL blank. Then if you scroll down, you can read through the developer agreement and you can click yes, I agree, and then create your Twitter application. And here we have our computational social science lab page. This is your overview page, and this will have details about the application you just set up for crawling. You must copy information from the keys and access tokens tab and you will copy this information onto the Preferences page on Tacit. Once you're on Tacit, click View on the top bar and then Preferences. Then you will need to click the small arrow to the left of the word Tacit and then choose the Twitter user configuration from the bottom of the menu. Now you must fill in all this information the consumer key, consumer secret, access token, and access token secret from the application management page on Twitter. Here we have the consumer key. Here we have the consumer secret. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the access token. And the access token secret. Then you must hit apply. And then if everything went well, you should see your name appear at the top of the preferences Twitter user configuration tab. Then you can press OK to close the preferences page. 
These preferences should now be saved within Tacit, so you do not need to repeat the steps above every time you open the application. If you run into an error when you are later trying to use the crawler, you may need to return to your Twitter application page and regenerate your access key or your token key. Now I will walk you through the filter settings of the crawler. To get to the crawler, go to crawling on the top bar and scroll down to the Twitter crawler. Now you should see the Twitter crawler page. Here we have the various filter settings. The word filter setting allows you to crawl for tweets using a specific keyword or set of keywords. For multiple keywords, separate each word by entering a semicolon in between each word. For example, hello, bye. And here you can see I separated them with a semicolon. The geo filter lets you enter a specific geolocation, a latitude, and a longitude to crawl tweets that originate from a certain location. To determine the bounding box needed for your area of interest, you can use the tool available at bounding, bounding box dot cloakandtech.com. Now, the first thing you should do is change the copy-paste option on the bottom panel. You should change this to .csv. You can then enter the name of the city, state, or country you want to crawl. Or you can click and drag the box to whatever location you would like. The geo coordinate box for that area, the area that we just searched, Los Angeles, will appear at the bottom of the page. Copy paste these numbers into the geo filter box in the tacit tool. If you would like to crawl from multiple distinct locations, Simply add the geo coordinate box for each location into the tool separated by semicolons. If you don't want to filter the tweets that are crawled, then you can select the random tweets option. Next, I will walk you through the section that limits tweets. The time limit option lets you specify a length of time that the tool should continue to run and crawl data for events that are infrequent or that you would expect to unfold over a certain time frame. Tacit will collect tweets as long as the program remains running on your computer and you continue to be connected to the internet. You can specify time by days, hours, and minutes. The Twitter crawler is automatically set to download 10 total tweets per request. This option can be changed to any number of tweets you are interested in collecting. The tool will continue to run until that number is reached. Next, I will talk about how you can specify attributes for the tweets that are crawled. Users can select which types of information they would like the crawler to collect about each tweet by checking the box next to the following attributes. Username is the name of the user who wrote the tweet. Geolocation is the geological latitude and longitude coordinates of the tweet's origin when this is available. Status ID is the author's numerical ID. Text is the text of the tweet. Created at is the time and date when the tweet was created. Language is the language used in the tweet text. Retweet number is the number of times the tweet has been retweeted by other Twitter users. And lastly, favorite count is the number of times the tweet has been favorited by other Twitter users. 
Now I will cover the output details. By default, all collected text in TACIT is saved as a corpus in Corpus Management. All you must do is specify the name you would like to assign to this corpus in the corpus name box under output details. Once you have finished making all your selections, press the green run button with the small white arrow on the top right corner. TACIT will then run the crawler and a small window will pop up showing the progress. You can also track the progress in the console. If you'd like to view the corpus we just created, you can go to View on the top bar and then press Corpus Management. Now we can see our Twitter test one. If you continue running into problems, you can refer to our forum where people can post and answer questions. If your question isn't on there, you can go ahead and write it out or you can contact us directly. Thanks for watching.